Okay, today I'm going to do a pour again, but I have a challenge to work with a balloon. So we do balloon pouring and it's a collaboration with many different really talented pouring artists who have a lot more experience than I have. So this is kind of scary. The way I'm in it is I do not have any experience, but I just want to have fun and try out something I have never done before. So. I'm guessing what can go wrong, except for having a really big mess in my kitchen. I will do three experiments on three different techniques today. So on to my first experiment. I have again an old record. I have my balloon and uh, I'm going to pour in my paint inside of the balloon. I don't know if anyone has done it like this, but I'm going to try anyway. So I'm starting with white. And I'm pouring it in. Cleaning up my syringe. And adding the second color. Oh, and my paint is again really Runny. and it's just paint and water, nothing else. Another, this is more of a tealish color. And again, this is just an experiment. I have no clue what will go in, what's going to happen. thought I would try out a um, pearlescent metallic kind of paint in a bronze kind of color and in a purplish color. So now I'm thinking which one do I do? Uh, I'm going for the bronze one. I also want to add a little bit of black. Okay. I want to do a little bit of white again. Blue again. of my metallic. Okay, I'm having a balloon here with paint. Now I can do two things. I can blow it up and then try something. I'm guessing that will be a gigantic mess. <laughs> so I'm going to pinch it, put it on top. And then, okay, that's actually really a mess. So it basically did not turn out the way I would have wanted it to. Let's take this as a background or something, maybe. And then some blue too. And some white. Oh, why not? I'm taking the metallic purple one. I 
that's pretty. Okay, I'm losing all my metallic somehow. I think it's safe to say this was a failed experiment with a balloon. Okay, I'm putting this aside now. I'm starting the second experiment here. And my idea is to fill my balloon with air, let the air go and blow on my paint. And I will also revisit my first experiment and that's actually the end project for this balloon collaboration. But I'm telling you about that a little later on in the video. And all the way at the end I also have the last experiment. So if you are still with me right now, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a sweet comment. You can also find me on Facebook. I have two Facebook groups. One is called Picture for Life and then I also have a group page which is called P Low Budget Mixed Media with Picture for Life and you can ask to join there as well. Hope to see you there. I also have a blog and an Instagram account so you can find me there also as Picture for Life. And my blog is picture called Picture for Life and it's on WordPress. Hope to see you there and enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to follow the collaboration. All the links are in the description box and at the end I also have the playlist. I revisited the first field pouring that I did and I let a lot of paint run off and added a lot of white after that. Then took the balloon and dipped it in. I don't know what happened to that video. I either forgot to push the button and did not record it or it got 
delete it somehow. So I'm sorry about that. That was supposed to be the main part of this video. This spot and this spot were made by just taking a balloon, putting it down and twist. This one is just by putting it down and this one I did a little twist. And I will have some close-ups from the spots that I'm uh, pointing out here. These four spots here on the bottom, they also went the same way. So I had the white on here and I put a little bit of the blue on there. And again I took my balloon and dipped it in. This one is dipped and these three are also a bit twisted. And you can see the technique, the basic technique at the end where I used that technique to make spots. That was also for a project that I'm working on. But the effect is different because I used less paint there. So I'll put the pictures of the spots right behind here and then you can see the effect it gave more up close. So I basically did three experiments. One was pouring the paint inside of the balloon. The second one was blowing up the balloon and letting the air come out. That was actually the most difficult technique. I mean, the technique is not that difficult, but you do have absolutely no control. You cannot even predict how uh, the outcome will be. So out of the three experiments I did, the last one with turning the balloon, I think for me gave the best effect, so that's the one you are looking at right now. So I really want to thank you for watching my video and since this is a collaboration there are many t uh, talented artists who have videos. So just go over and pay them a visit. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye everybody.